Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. This is just what I needed. A little chill time in the park. <laughs> I like to chill on the couch, but then I'm a cat. I don't really like the park or other animals, do we, Vic? <sighs> what? <laughs> come on, boy, come on. Let's play fetch. Oh, no, not this game again. I don't get it. What's the point? I know. There's not even treats. Come on, Wash! Let's go, boy! <laughs> as soon as we get back, I'm burying all the furry green balls where no one can find them ever again. Go get it, Wash! Go on, fetch! <laughs> Watch it, Washington! That's my ball! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Alvarez! <laughs> I can see you, Washington. I can see all of you. And you're all coming back to the wild with me, where you belong. <laughs> fetch, wash, fetch! <sighs> fetch, wash, fetch, fetch, fetch. Good boy, Washington. Good boy. Arf, arf. As always, Alvarez, you are perfection. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Uh, Alvarez is simply the best. Oh, but my Washington can... Alvarez brings that ball back no matter what. Uh, uh, no matter what. You get back here! I can't make Mr. L look bad in front of Mr. Snobinski and Alvarez. I just can't. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Where are you, you stupid fuzzy ball? Oh, tough stuff, Livingstone. Looks like your dog lost the ball. Not good, not good. Fetch the ball, Washington, fetch! <laughs> 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 Mr. L seems really embarrassed.
I found your ball wash. And now you have to come get it from me. <laughs> Ooh, it's the pretty little house cat. She has to come too. Silly little ball. <laughs> 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 You're fun! Come on, Sam! Help me get that ball back! But I'm a cat. I'm supposed to relax. <laughs> okay. Well, can we help? What do we do? <laughs> Sorry, Bashamel, that old boy. Go over there and try and cheer him up. <laughs> and Vic. You. Ooh, I know what I can do. Nothing. <laughs> I thought I saw it land over in this area, but I don't see it. Well, maybe it bounced further back. After it landed and rolled up the hill, turned around that corner with the big trees, and fell down a hole where it came out by a river, and went downstream where it was discovered by little green men from outer space. Ha ha, very funny. What is? Uh, never mind. What the hell? Mitch? Come on, we gotta get that ball back. But be careful, we can't let him see us or he'll take us back into the wild. Are you trying to take my ball? Uh, well, technically, that's our ball. No! Yeah. You <laughs> can't have it! It's my ball! Mine! My ball! Mine! Ah! <laughs> 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 I'm a cat! Phew! I think we lost him. Where are you guys? That's my ball! Mine! Give it back! <laughs> Come on, Sam! Let's go cheer up Mr. L! Surprise! Uh-oh! Ball! <coughs> Fudge! Got it, Holly! Go get it! Aha! Uh -huh. hmm. <coughs> um, you can keep her. Yeah. We'll take the ball. What? Are you serious? Washington? What, 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 what are you saying? You heard me. I mean, she never wants to play with us, and she never really wants to help us either, so yeah. Bye, Vic. Enjoy life in the wild. 
Yeah. Arf, arf, arf. Washington. Washington. Good boy, Wash. Good boy. You always bring that ball back, no matter what. <laughs> Over us, get ready, boy. Oh! Oh! Yeah! I got it! I got it! I got it! <laughs> no! Go away! It's my no. ball! My ball! <laughs> You weren't really going to leave me in the woods with Mitch, were you? Of course not. It was all part of my plan. I knew he couldn't resist the ball. I just needed a second to make it happen. Hmm. Oh, and I didn't really mean what I said. Though it's all true, but I didn't mean it. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Included in your training kit, this beautiful dog whistle that only dogs can hear. <laughs> Guaranteed to make your dog sit up and pay attention. That's amazing. I need one for my wash. Huh, Wash? What do you think? Psst. Wash, do the dog. <laughs> Boy, Washington! Another wasted nap. Thank you, Washington. Welcome back to the news, everyone, and for our final story of the evening. Tonight is a very special night for all you stargazers out there. At 9.46 p.m., a special full moon, the one astronomers are calling the Red Fox Moon because of its brilliant red glow. <laughs> It happens only once every 50 years, and it's going to be a major event. Uh, beware the were fox. Enjoy the red fox moon, everyone. Were fox? What does that even mean? Oh boy, let's have a red fox moon party! <laughs> oh! <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get the moon food. Here comes the moon fire. Here comes the moon food. I'm gonna get some great shots of the moon for my website. The website that only I follow? <laughs> Can you believe it, Wash? We're gonna see a red How moon tonight. Hope we don't see any were foxes. <laughs> were fox? Can someone please explain? Oh yeah, you've never heard of a were fox? It's like a werewolf, except it's not as cute. Huh. Soon, Washington, you'll turn into an ugly, howling, drooling, biting, scratching, uncontrollable wild beast. Come on, guys. You don't actually <laughs> believe that. There's no such thing as a... Ooh! Ooh, ooh, 
<laughs> what timing! I can't believe my luck. See? It's happening already. And the moon isn't even really red yet. Hope everyone is having a good time tonight waiting for the red moon. Yes! Good. Now does everyone have their sausages on the grill? Ooh, come on! <gasps> Let's get the sausages. What do yeah. you say? We'll be right back! Sausages! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you gonna watch me like that all night? No. Maybe, yes. <sighs> Sam, listen to me. Nothing is gonna happen. <laughs> Come on, Sam. You know me. We grew up together. We're like brothers. <laughs> You're drooling! <laughs> Too salty. Huh? <laughs> okay, drooling check. Now, scratchy time. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, party people, we're only a short bit away from the big event. Let's keep spinning those moon tunes. Where foxes are scary. Sam, enough! I am not going to turn into some wild, scary, biting, and scratching beast! Come on! Seriously! I told you everything is fine! Nothing is going to happen! It's happening! Itchy, scratching beast! No, 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 Sam. Nothing is happening. I was just suddenly itchy. Let the howling begin. Ow! <laughs> Good evening, ma'am. And cool outfit, by the way. You like to bark? You're gonna scream. Washington? <laughs> Looks like someone here is getting in touch with their inner werefox, huh, boy? <laughs> oh, my friends can't be wrong. We're drawing even closer to the Red Fox Moon Party, people. It's not long now. Oh. Oh. From where we are, the is turning more and more red every second. <laughs> Just look at yourself. You're a crazy twitching mess. It's happening, Vic. I'm trying not to, but I can't. Vic, you gotta hide me and keep me away from everyone before I turn. Oh, yes. Yes, we have to hide it's you. It's almost that time! Oh boy, I can't wait! Hey, where's Washington? We can't do this without man's best friend. Too late. Come here, buddy. <laughs> ah! Come on! You don't want to miss it. Oops, sorry, away Vic. from the Red Fox Moon, everyone. Ten. Sorry nine, again. Eight, seven, <laughs> six, five, <laughs> Your cat because Wait, what? Hide your coming. cat? That means it's werewolf time! Three, two, one. Oh! Wait, Washington, I was just. Where did he go? Oh. 
ранее... And in our final story of the night, we've got some interesting pictures from a Red Fox moon party last night, where a real-life werefox was spotted. Check these out. Those are my pictures on TV! <laughs> that's my hubby! <laughs> I don't know. Something tells me that that's a dog in a very good costume. <laughs> are they saying I'm an idiot? I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Look at it, Sam. <laughs> Leftovers from lunch. What do you think it is this time? Cool. Greasy. Stinky. Delicious. Delicious. Happy Hungry with a brand new noodle box you can take with you anywhere you want. <gasps> My head. What is that horrific noise? <laughs> <laughs> Gracie and Alfie, the worst. What was that about? I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> oh, a toy xylophone, the worst of the worst. can't take their human food? If that happens, then we get the bad boy! Bad boy! Bad boy! Oh, right. Leftovers are a special gift that the humans give us for being good boys. If we start snatching stuff, we'll be denied treats forever. Forever? Forever! The only way we're gonna get our teeth into that delicious treat is by behaving ourselves and being good boys. Good boy! Good yeah, boy! I'm a good boy! I'm a good boy! I'm a good boy! I'm a good boy! <gasps> I'm a good boy! Yay for you! Mm. Mm. <laughs> Be 
being a good boy makes my face hurt. <laughs> Stupid kids. Never had a clue what happened. <laughs> oh, someone's at the door. <gasps> the doorbell. That means we get to run around like crazy and make lots of noise. It's a free pass freak out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Meow. Yeah. Arf, woof, arf. It sounds like you guys, so I made some up. Uh -huh. Oh! <laughs> Whoa, hello, children. Mrs. Appleton, uh, what brings you over? Uh, Mrs. Livingstone, I. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Your music toy is lost, sweetheart. No, Mommy, I want Let's it. Let's get out of here. Normally, I wouldn't ask you, but could you watch Gracie and Alfie for an hour, please? It's an emergency. Mm. Oh, uh, well, yes, of course. They're really sweet kids. You remember. <sighs> they just love your cat. Victoria, right? Don't let them eat nuts or dairy or anything pink. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm sure my old toys are here somewhere. Oh no, Alfie and Gracie! Wait, this should be good. Good boys. <laughs> here we go! <laughs> the Painbot 3000! Keeping them occupied. Let's not disturb them for an hour. Come on, let's sneak out of the room. Sam, this is it. It is? Wait, what is it? It's a test, don't you see? If we help the elves with the kids, they'll see we're good boys and they'll have to reward us with a box of leftovers. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Washington, are you sure about this? Uh huh. <laughs> These leftovers are gonna taste all the more delicious once we're done with these sweet little angels! Sam, is all this worth some leftovers? 
let me think about that. Mm, yes! Welcome to Gracie's hair salon! Hey! Or maybe not. Run! Uh, you have to hide me. Victoria, is that some sort of game? Yes, yes, just do it, now! Okay! <laughs> Are you sure? Absolutely! Must be Mrs. Appleton. Oh, we're saved. I got them exactly what they wanted. Oh, thank you for watching the kids. Well, actually, we. Oh, you guys found it. Well, now we have to double the music. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Alfie? Kitty. <laughs> there you are. I told you he loves your cat. When I split them up, he'll freak. Oh, why tear them apart? <laughs> sure. We'll come get Vic later when the kids are asleep. And quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> come on, kids. <sighs> oh, one last thing. I have some leftovers. Would anyone want any? <laughs> well, you guys have been very good boys today, haven't you? Haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> You'd think we were living with a couple of wild animals. Oh! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. <laughs> ah, feel that breeze? Not really. <laughs> oh, sorry to disturb. We were just admiring your mangy fur. How do you do it? A special shampoo? Or maybe an ugly brush? <laughs> <laughs> we're doomed! The living stones will get rid of us! We're gonna get kicked out of the house for sure! No reason to panic. 
I know. All we have to do is order new costumes. Yeah. What? Hi. On the magic screen with all the little buttons. The elves order stuff on it all the time. You mean a computer? Yeah, that's what I said. So, who's the expert, huh? Now, all we have to do is order. Error. Please try again. <laughs> error. 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 Thank you, Mr. Ah. Stone. Order complete. Ah. Please await processing. You see? Told you I'm an expert. The computer even knew who I am. <sighs> right. You just got lucky. Your order will be delivered in... Five, four, three, two, one. It's here! Hey! Take care of this, would you, Vic? Watch where you... <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll just go ahead and take care of these. Do we... We messed up the order. I've never seen anything like this in the forest. They're awesome! We do look pretty cool, don't we? You sure this doesn't make me look too fat? Yeah. Hey, what kind of animals are you anyway? The uh, well... Uh, what if they're wild animals? <laughs> Ridiculous! Just think about it. If these were wild animals, we would have known them in the forest. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's good. Mr. Computer Expert messed up his order. <laughs> I can reorder the right ones in five seconds. No problemo. Hey guys, oh. we're home. Quick, we gotta put the old costumes back on. Where are they? Vic? You said take care of them, so I took care of them. They're in the trash. What? Oh yeah, that was so much fun, wasn't it? Vic, you gotta get them back. From the dumpster? Vic, please! There's no way I'm going to dirty my fur twice in the same day. If washed... <laughs> Where are the others? Don't worry, honey. You know them. They can't be far. You two stay here, okay? Sam and I are going to get our costumes. Struck. <laughs> What's going on? It seems like everyone's scared of us. Of us? Do I really look scary in this thing? Scary? Nah, more like ridiculous. new product by Criminus Lab. With Stash Paste by Criminus Lab, forget about your old life. The new one will be hairy and fairy. Wow, that looks amazing. I absolutely <laughs> need one. Ooh, a documentary on exotic animals living in far off lands? I'm in. Did you see that? Wash is a lion. Shh, look. These far flung corners of the globe are inhabited by strange animals. This nocturnal mammal who lives in the savannas of Africa never uses Yikes! How ugly is that thing? I can't even look at it! The aardvark returns to its burrow before sunrise and before the lion has uttered his first roars of the day. I really think it's us everyone's afraid of. Of course not. They're scared of the driver. Meanwhile, thousands of kilometers from the Savannah Plains, the Cobra Moth flutters carefree through the jungle. Hey, that's me. 
This African butterfly is about to commit a fatal error. It is going to brush its large wings against the whiskers of a Bengal tiger. And that's Sam about to attack you! <laughs> Sam, they're gonna arrest him. Like every day, the Babarusas are playing in the mud. Breaking news brought to you by Stash Pace, a criminous product. We interrupt this program to bring you the highly coincidental news that exotic animals from far off lands have invaded our city. Huh? It's Wash and Sam. The question on everyone's mind at this hour can these stunning beasts be tamed and turned into household pets? What do the experts have to say? And uh, no. But that means Sam and Wash might be sent far, far away. <gasps> we gotta do something! <laughs> okay, let's go, quick! Row, 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 row. Phew, that was close. This is gonna be your turn, coward! Hey, over here! Oh! The vet? What's he doing here? Maybe he's gonna stop the truck with that. Wash, I don't think he's trying to stop the truck. I don't always agree with you, but for once, I think you're right. Quick, we're heading for the botanical garden. Sam, hurry up! Just leave me here. Yeah. Come on, move! We already have a bird on our team. Yeah. That's the unmistakable roar of a tiger. They can't be caught. <laughs> You coward! It's up to you, Vladimir! Guys! Susie! Susie! Quick! Take off your costume! Are you nuts? The vet will send us back to the forest! The forest? With those costumes? He's gonna send you to the jungle! Not fun for a boy and a fox! Quick! Eugenie's waiting for us! <laughs> <laughs> a fox and a wild boar? The things you find in botanical gardens these days. Wait a sec. Those are wild animals. Shouldn't we return them to the forest? Are you kidding? We're looking for a lion and a tiger. That's a million times more exciting. Are you sure you're okay, Vladimir? It can be pretty dangerous. <laughs> Your costumes aren't in here. We're done for. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> While you guys were in the garden distracting them, I got through the truck and grabbed our disguises. All part of your plan. Right, Washington? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, guys. Did, did you see that hangry lion and that vicious tiger? Chill, guys. We scared them away. Huh? <laughs> Do you smell this? It smells like garbage. We still have bear spots on our costumes. Oh. Rats, we can't order new costumes now. Mr. L's on his computer. Hmm? <laughs> Hello, it's me, the bearded woman. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face. Where are the pets? We're going to scare them. What in the world is that? The stash paste. The stash what? The stash paste. Oh. They put it everywhere on my toys, on the pillows, 
and even on me. They like it a lot. Come on, let's go. Be generous. Hey, they're in the kitchen. Hello, furry. Oh. Meow. Arf, arf. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. our lives miserable. Wow, Vic, sounds like you really don't want her in here. I don't. Okay, well, if that's how you feel. <laughs> I'll go get her. Guys, <laughs> looks like we bought winter sweaters in a nick of time. <laughs> Who wants a nice hot cup of herbal tea? I do. We do it. This is Eugenie, Susie, and Sam, and of course you know me, Washington, the guy who saved your life. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> She's so cute. Another girl in the house. <laughs> girl power. Yeah. Here's the deal. She can stay with us until it warms up a bit. Yes! It'll be like having her very own pet. She's a pet pet. Thanks for saving her, Wash. What can I say? Sometimes saving the day just feels right, you know? This definitely feels right. Come on, Moth. We'll show you around. And last but not least, the watering point. <laughs> okay, enough for today. Last one on the couch is going prickly pear. She's so cute. Yeah! <laughs> what are you doing? I can't help it. It's every cat's primal urge to capture that moth. So that's why you didn't want her in here. <sighs> if only you could see the moth for the great addition she really is. Vic, maybe if you got to know the moth, you'd see she's really sweet. Trust me, that moth is the opposite of sweet. Come on, Vic. Remember, you once felt the same way about us. I still do. Huh? Susie and Eugenie, stay on Victoria. Don't let her get our new friend. Hi, hey, Captain. Is it just me, or is this the nicest scarf ever? <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, yes. There are even holes for ventilation. <laughs> on you, everything looks super. Well, that sweet remark just won you another cup oh. of Ylang Ylang. That's what moths do. They eat wool. And you know what else they do? They never leave. This isn't good. 
Good luck with the new bestie, Captain Idiot. Look, it's gonna be okay. We can't get angry at the moth for not knowing the rules of living indoors. I mean, there was a time when we didn't know how to act inside a house either. I still don't understand why we don't all use the toilet. You see, Moth, we had to learn to hide our natural instincts so we could live inside this nice house. It's true. I'm not really a cat. I'm a boar. I was born to roll in mud. But the one thing that separates cats from boar is cats don't like to roll in mud. Really? That's the one thing that separates us? That and your furball problem. Anyway, I still need to roll around in something, so now I use raisins. It pretty much feels the same. And now when I'm done, no mess. I just eat the evidence. Either way, I win. Here's my story. Bunnies love carrots. I hate carrots. So I just pretend to like them, and then I bury them in the backyard. And no one knows a thing. I'm a bird pretending to be a bird. Well, I think we've explained to the moth how to get along in the house. Right, moth? Okay, okay, maybe we're just going about this wrong. If we can't get her to stop eating... <laughs> ole, ole, moth! Eat up, little friend. Ah! Problem solved. <laughs> and I thought you'd eat anything. Hmm? I tried, but I choked on the yarn. Wow, for a tiny creature, she can really put it away. Mm hmm I'll go find more moth food as soon as I get my own breakfast. Most important meal huh? of the day. Sam, stop! Look at yourself! Ah! What if the living stone sees Sam? We're gonna get kicked out of the house for sure! <laughs> Everyone stop panicking! Sam! Until I figure something out, no leaving the room. The elves can't see you, even if it means no breakfast. What? I don't know what to say, Moth. I trusted you. <gasps> Moth! No! You couldn't listen to me. Moths are extremely annoying little bugs. They're not indoor pets. They're indoor nightmares. And it's just going to get worse. <laughs> worse than no breakfast? I'm so... Hungry! Sammy? Is that you, boy? Oh. Oops! You need some private time. I'll leave you to it. If I were a moth, where would I hide? Aha! <laughs> She's not here, but she was. Where to? What does she say? May I help you pack? Idea. What if we unscrew every light in the house so the living stones won't be able to see me? I'll only come out at night when it's dark. They'll call me Night Cat. What? Bad idea? <laughs> yeah! What's going <laughs> on here? Oh, well, that's adorable. We can't stay here. A little help here. Look, you tried, we tried, but you're never gonna make it as an indoor pet. You just act too nuts. You think I like acting like this? Oh, you can talk? No one ever likes a moth. No one ever tries to see what's inside. Everyone only focuses on the back. Well, you do eat people's clothes and stuff. I can't help it. You have no idea what it's like not to want to be who you are. Hmm. I think we know a little something about not wanting to be who we are. I mean, 
I'm a fox pretending to be a dog. Lucky you. I'd do anything to be something else. I have an idea. How about I do what I do, and you do what you do? My behind is extra fuzzy. Well done, Moth. Your turn. <laughs> You're like a princess. <laughs> Not gonna lie, <laughs> she looks pretty good. So, are you ready to head out and see the world, Moth? I'm ready. Thanks, guys. You really are the best. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Don't even think about it. Oh, fine, just get it over with. Yeah! I'm gonna miss her. Are you kidding me? This place was crazy when she was here. Just admit it, you like that moth. Please, I only let it kiss me so it would go away. I think I helped you get over your issues with moths. You're welcome. Whatever. Can we please go back to our normal life? And by that, I mean where the only thing driving me crazy is you. Fine. Wild ones, let us resume our mellow, quiet life. Everyone relax. <laughs> yeah. Where's the green bath mat? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Washington, your hood! Phew, nobody saw me. That was a close call. Yeah. Oh, Diary, I hope you had a nice nap, because I have a lot of secrets to put in you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can't tell Fluffy everything, like how Washington drives me wild. Should Susie really be flying that high? She likes to peek into other birds' nests. She gets decorating tips. Ah, uh, girls. <laughs> Ouch! Uh, it better be a joke book. Well, it's got a bunch of funny pictures. Let me see. Oh. You were supposed to keep an eye on Washington and Sam. Quick, go make sure they haven't destroyed our catnip. Wait! Huh? Wait, Washington! Uh, oh, 
Hi, Nugget. I saw you earlier in the yard. <laughs> huh? You saw me earlier in the... Mm -hmm. Hold on. What do you mean? Don't play innocent with me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Nugget, you're not going to tell anyone, are you? Oh, yes. <laughs> of course. I want the entire world to know. <laughs> No, please! You can't do that! Really? Oh, yeah, of course, you're right. Because I'm a cat and you're a... Please, Nugget! This has to remain just between us! A secret! Our little secret! I'll do whatever you want! Oh, all I really want is to hang out with you, Washington. No. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, cool. A friend with me. <laughs> so, you've been having fun with your new buddy Nugget, huh? While I was all alone, talking about my favorite shows with myself. No, oh, Sam, you don't understand. I understand she's your fancy new friend and I'm just a wild boar from the woods. No, no, I had no choice. No choice. <laughs> she knows our little secret. <laughs> what? And if I don't do what she wants, she's going to tell everyone I'm a fox. And if that happens, we're all doomed. Yeah, but I don't want to leave TV. Hey, Sam, what about the elves? Them too. Goodbye, elves. I love you, TV. Sam, just chill. Go play with Eugenie and Susie and pretend like you don't know a thing. Okay. I mean it. They'll get all freaked out. Washington, <laughs> you coming? <sighs> Gotta go. Oh, diary! I have so much to say today! Huh? Where is it? Diary! Where are you? Oh, 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 oh diary! How could you have gotten lost? What are you looking at? A picture book. A hilarious picture book. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. The fat cat and that weird looking dog with the hearts all around him. <laughs> it almost looks like Washington. And that cat. She looks familiar too. Yeah. My head hurts. Too much thinking. I gotta find Wash. <laughs> Nugget, why are you crying? It's nothing I've done, right? I lost my diary! Your what? <laughs> my diary! It's where I write all my secrets. <laughs> huh? All your secrets? Does that mean our little secret? Yes, especially our little secret. <gasps> <gasps> We gotta find it! But I've looked everywhere. What am I gonna do? Without my diary, it's gonna be impossible not to tell Fluffy! No, no! No! No, no! <laughs> I'm sorry, Washington. I'm very expressive. The vet said so. Can't you just...
just express yourself silently? I would, Washington, but a lot of times my mouth doesn't even check with me before I say stuff. I can't help myself. I'm terrible at keeping secrets from her without it. If I can't, I might as well tell the world! No, 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 don't do that. We don't want the world to find out. Listen, I guess maybe you just go ahead and tell Fluffy everything. Don't you mean we? Oh, right, we. I knew you'd understand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Wash. Sam, I don't have a second to lose. We have to go tell her sister our little secret. What? Why? Because she lost her diary. Diary? The book where she writes all her secrets. She says without it, she has to express herself yeah. by blabbing about me to Fluffy. Otherwise, she'll tell the whole world. Yeah. Diary? Nugget? Ooh! <laughs> that diary thing you're reading, whose is it? Nuggets, of course. Yeah? Yeah, it's her diary. That's why it's so funny. Nugget's diary? I need that diary right now! Yeah, right. Check back next week. Give it to me! I need it! No way! I'm not done yet! I want to see how it ends! Sorry, but it'll end bad for all of us if I don't get this diary back! Sam, look, buddy. Not now. I... Is this Nugget's diary? Nothing about... Nothing about my costume in here? So that means... She never saw you out of your costume! <laughs> oh! I saw you earlier. In the yard. <laughs> the only thing she saw was you, waving to her. At least she thought you were waving to her. <gasps> Phew. Washington, you huh? coming? We gotta do what we gotta do. Time to wake her up and spill the beans. Wait, uh... Nugget, it's always gonna be complicated between us. Let's be realistic. You're a cat. Meow, meow. I'm a dog. Woof, woof. Your sister is always going to be an obstacle between us. <laughs> I know. It's tragic. But also tragically romantic. And no matter what happens, we'll always have our little secret. Oh. <laughs> 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 Washington, you drive me wild. <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Um, what are you doing? <sighs> I want to bet with a squirrel. That sandwich is mine, but I gotta get to it. <clears throat> yeah, um, have you thought about climbing <clears throat> like an actual real cat? <clears throat> oh, of course. That was my plan B. <clears throat> Cat stuck in a tree? Now that's video gold! Oh, wait, is that Sam? 
Real cat. Real cat. Go, Sam! Go! Uh, no. no, Sam! No! <laughs> Sammy, you certainly earned that sandwich. And you gave me some priceless footage here. Bon appetit! <laughs> Sam, we weren't laughing at you, we were laughing at the way you felt. It's different. Do it! Sam, hey! There you are! <sighs> Great! I guess you already heard that I fell out of a tree. Mm -hmm. <sighs> no, seriously! You're a natural barn comedian! Oh, yeah! <clears throat> oh, yeah! But, Vincent, how did you. Hi, Sam! I just wanted to say congratulations on your success. I admit I'm surprised. Yeah, thanks? Wait! What is going to. <laughs> Good. You ask him now, you. Uh, Sam, can you sign an autograph for us? <laughs> we can probably sell it. We're never selling it. Yeah, sure, if you want. What should I write? Uh, can you put two nugget with all my love? No, oh. for Fluffy and Nugget. But mostly for Fluffy. <sighs> girls, girls, how about this? <laughs> Someone, please tell me what's up with Sam. Uh, what? You don't know? Uh, and G Washington. Oh, uh, and quick, Sam's in the computer. What? I, I'm not in the computer. I'm, I'm right here. No. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Mr. L shared that video of you online. It appears that tumble you took is a big hit, Sam. Wow! My brother, a star! A star? I'm a star! Wow! Well, for today, anyway. It must be from one of my GoofTube fans. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I don't care for one. Thanks. I love being a star. <laughs> and all you did was fall out of a tree. People have such weird taste. For once, we agree. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was just bringing these... Uh, sorry, Sam is swamped. Lots of fan mail, you understand. He's booked up until at least tomorrow. Yeah. Well, then can you hold these until then? Complicated. I bet you hold it like this. If Sam can become a star with a stunt that stupid, just imagine what a triple jointed fox like me can do. You shoot, I perform. I don't know if I want to get involved in your wild animal games. Hmm, really? But I think of you as a director type, bossy. Hmm? Well, I am very visual. I suppose this would be easy enough. When do we start? 
So here's the deal. I rollerblade onto the trampoline, get shot into the air, and land on the mattress. You've told me this three times. I got it. Take one. Cut! Perfection. My costume. Who's gonna notice? Come on, we need to take two. <sighs> Actors. Wow, all those clicks, it's a success. People love me. <laughs> it's still increasing. <laughs> well, well, who's the star now? Yeah, well, if you want my opinion, it's mostly thanks to the director's talent. Way to go, Wash. Hey, can we play too? Oh yeah, we want to make a film. <laughs> You're too little to pull off something that sophisticated. We'll talk in five years. Aww. <laughs> huh? I just need to borrow this for a second, thanks. Vincent? Yes, sir? You've just been promoted to director. You're gonna film me. Wow, I've always wanted to work in film. Huh? <laughs> 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 Trust me, it will be hilarious. I guess so. In three, two, one, rolling. Meow. Now, Joy! Genius! Huh, so he wants to play dirty. Well, now it's more! Washington! Washington! Boy, am I ever gonna teach that little rat a thing or two about filmmaking. Washington! 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 It's a wrap. The tree stuff made you, but we should expand your of. Agree. I need to keep it fresh. <laughs> 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 hit the steel girder the first time. Right, so it's a tie. Why don't we just say we're both stars, huh? That's fine with me. I think I'm gonna take a nap. Stardom is very exhausting. There's no way we're gonna let those two losers win. I know we can outdo them. I've got tons of awesome ideas, Watch. Sam? You can't do this to me. We've got to make the third part of our trilogy. What? <laughs> what was that? Oh, look. That's our video. <laughs> you really are funny when you sleep. What? That's the internet blockbuster of the year? Oh, Lane, there's not even any action. <sighs> I should have kept all the takes of Wash without his costume. It could have been huge. Gotta run. I need to seriously think about a career move. Filmmaking may not just be the right choice for me. Mm. 
Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Should we call a pet sitter? We've never left them alone overnight before. Oh, honey, they'll be okay for one night. We'll be home in the morning. A pet sitter? Last time it was Nuggin and Fluffy's cranky old lady. She watched game shows the whole time and ate all our treats. Ooh. It's time for you to be convincing, my friends. Do we really need a pet sitter? Hmm. Will you be good animals? <laughs> Fine. We'll try it. No pet sitter. We're trusting you. See you in the morning. Hey, we can use the extra money for Pancake Paradise. Mission accomplished. TV night is all ours. Yes. This is going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you screw things up, we'll end up with a pet sitter every single time they go away. Don't worry, we'll behave. Sam, how about a nice scary movie? Great idea! Mr. L always changes the channel. He gets really scared. Scary movie? No thanks. How about a game of tag? Huh? Oh no, not tag. Probably go check on Eugenie and Susie, huh? <laughs> hmm? I'm a force of good that's going to do you bad, you nasty old ghost! <laughs> Your breath! It's horrible! <laughs> hey! Find another hiding place! But where? I don't know. Anywhere that's not around me. How about the bathroom? Go hide in the toilet. Huh? <laughs> oh, ugh, kids, they believe anything. Okay, we got one chance here. This magnet should enable the neutralization of the ectoplasm of the ghost. The ghost will take form and I'll finally be able to capture him. Saw her coming here. gotten into you. It's Susie! It's Susie what? What am I doing here? <laughs> oh, that's fun! It's a pretty good hiding spot after all. Hello? <laughs> what? Oh. <sighs> Where'd they go? Huh? <laughs> Bet they got scared. <laughs> Susie. We'll never see her again. What the? 
Susie is a ghost. <laughs> Wait a second. I know what to do. We too must become ghost hunters! <laughs> Fear just changed sides, huh? <laughs> is going to enable the neutralization of the ectoplasm of the ghost. The ghost will take form, and I'll finally be able to capture him. I already heard that somewhere before. <laughs> I'm getting bored here. It's just too good a hiding place. I can only use my bathroom. No one moves. Oh. <sighs> well, I'm gonna make some tea. <gasps> we must have left it on when we were leaving. Feeling better now. Oh, hi guys. Where's Susie? Honey, can you please come in? There's a problem with the sink. Oh, oh. that's weird. Oh. Looks like something's blocking the pipe. Listen, let's go back to the camp. We'll fix it when we come back. You're right, dear. Let's go. Pipes? The pipes! There are pipes! They're like like underground tunnels. That explains everything. We dropped the magnet down the toilet, right? Yes, why? Because it wasn't the ghost dragging us up to the ceiling. It was the magnet. And that, and that Susie is hiding in the pipes and waiting for someone to find her. You are one clever fox, Wash. And you're smart, too. We're gonna pump her out of there. On the count of three. One, two, and three! <laughs> 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 
Keep jumping! It's working! There is no way I'm staying around here to be haunted the rest of my life. Is okay. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Hey, where's Susie? <laughs> See, all is well. They did just fine on their own. We did it. We proved to them that they can trust us. Hang on. Hello? Has anyone seen Victoria? <laughs> it's a nightmare. I'm going to wake up and have breakfast. Any minute now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. Alakazam, Alakazir. What's Al Ozzy doing? Al oh, he's playing Fancy Fetch. It's where you get dressed up and play fetch with a black and white stick. Amazing Alfie makes flowers appear. <coughs> Nuts. Why isn't this working? Oh, wrong sleeve. Yes, haha! I did it! It's amazing! I don't think this is fetch. Where did those flowers come from? Obviously, they came from the garden he's hiding in his arm. Ah, there's nothing like a good dig to remind me what it's like to be a boar. Know what I mean, Susie? Sure do! Sometimes I just fly around to remind me what it's like to be a bird. But you're a bird disguised as a bird. When do you not feel like a bird? Eugenie, stop! Holes are dangerous! You don't know what's down there! Fine. What are you guys doing? Watching, Alfie. He's doing a weird fetch dance with his garden arm. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing with that bunny? I can't see! Eugenie, stop! You can get hurt! Or worse, really hurt! What is it with you today, Sam? Why aren't you letting me do anything? I'm just looking out for you. As your big brother, it's my job to do that. When I remember to. Well, I don't need you to. I'm a big boar, and I can take care of myself. Alakazam, Alakazir! Oh! Where did the bunny go? Clearly, the bunny went to the market to get hors d'oeuvres. Huh, you don't know the rules of fancy fetch at all. Wash, stop pretending you know what's happening. He's doing a magic trick. Humans watch them for fun. <laughs> Sounds like fun! Not if it means being close to Alfie. One time, he spit bubblegum in my fur. Uh, He's gross and sticky and a menace to animals everywhere. <sighs> You've been through so much! <laughs> oh no! Bunny, I'm sorry! I don't know my own strength! Why? <laughs> Told you, he's a lunatic. Alfie, what happened? I I lost my bunny because I'm super strong, and now all my friends will think I'm a bad magician, which means I'll never get invited to birthday parties, which means I'll never have cake again. Cake! <laughs> hey, <laughs> is this 
Color Bunny? Yep. Her name's Eugenie, remember? Could I borrow her? Huh? Huh? Well, uh, Alfie, I... Please, please, please! It's show and tell at my school and I need a bunny for my magic trick. What am I supposed to do? Make a rock disappear? No one cares about rocks, Mr. L. <laughs> rocks are stupid! Okay, okay. <laughs> you can buy Eugenie if you promise to take very good care of her. I'll do better than that. I'll take very, 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 very good care of her. <laughs> We're gonna have the best day ever. <laughs> We got a rescuer! Who's with me? Me! Aren't you coming, Vic? As much as I long to be a hero, someone's got to stay behind in case Eugenie comes home. You're so smart and selfless! We're so close, I can almost taste it! <laughs> It tastes like dirty, boss. Hurry up, guys! No time to sleep! We're coming for you, Eugenie! <laughs> Eugenie can fly! No, she can't! They're tossing her around! Yo! My baby sister's in danger! She could get hurt or air sick or swallow a fly! Well, those kids can find her zipper and know she's not a real bunny! You didn't see what happened to the last bunny? So many dangers! Oh, aren't you the cutest? I could hug you all day. So fluffy. <laughs> if Sam could see me now, he'd know I could take care of myself. <laughs> you guys should really stop running into things with your faces. Oh, so cute! <laughs> wow, your buddy's funny. I wish I had one instead of a stupid goldfish. Eugenie, you're cooler than a T-Rex and a lion combined. We're gonna kick butt at the show and tell. I heard there was a project today. Everybody oh, in? Great. <laughs> We're almost there, buddy. Except for this locked fence. And humans everywhere. What do you want to do before school starts? Let's play pirates! Arr, Eugenie! Let's dig for treasure! Arr! Uh. Is she digging? She knows how I feel about home! It's gonna be okay, Sam. It's not like... Ah! Oh no! Is she yeah. in a tree? You need to be on the lookout for scoundrels who are after me treasure! This is awesome! Hey! Is that Sam and Wash? That's not safe! Eugenie, stop jumping! Screaming doesn't help, Sam. Susie, can you send a message? <laughs> Susie, check it out! I'm in the tree! No way! Me too! Oh, and I have a message from Sam. He says, get down from this tree this instant, young lady! Why is he being so overprotective? I'm fine! I don't have a scratch on me. You can tell him I say no. I'm having a blast. Besides, Elfie's nice. Mm, that's a lot to remember, but I'll try. Eugenie says no way. She's having some gas. Besides, Elfie likes rice. Elfie must have given Eugenie a head injury because that's crazy talk. That's the last straw. We've got to find a way in without being seen. I have an idea. <laughs> Hey, Bush! Quiet, Sam. Bushes don't talk. You're gonna blow our cover. What if someone hears you? They'd have super hearing because no one's here. Where is everyone? Yay! Welcome to Show and Tell, everyone. First up is Billy. Hello, everyone. This is my pet, Ant. Oh, oh no! Where'd he go? No one move! He has a family! <laughs> All right, Billy. We'll keep an eye out for your tiny pet ant. Oh, okay. Next up is, uh, the amazing Alfie. I am the amazing Alfie. <laughs> for my first trick, I'm gonna make my bunny <laughs> magically disappear. <laughs> Alakazam! Alakazat! 
Eugenie, disappear in this hat. Huh? <laughs> now are we gonna get Eugenie now? Oh no, this is what happened to the last bunny right before it landed in the street. Wait, where did she go? Huh? Where did she go? Is this part of the show? This is better than TV. Elsie brought those bushes to life. I did? Oh, that's great. My magic powers are stronger than I knew. Kids, inside now. We have to get to Elfie. He's the only one who can bring Eugenie back. Sam! Huh? Sam! <laughs> Eugenie, you didn't disappear. Of course not, silly. I've just been hanging out in here. Check it out. <laughs> Pretty sweet, huh? Elfie made it! I was worried sick about you! And you were lounging? You don't need to be worried. I'm big enough to handle things on my own. I know I'm adorable, but I'm not a baby. She's right, Sam. Eugenie was on her own all day, and she's still in one piece. Yes, you're right. I just worry because I care. You may not be a baby, but you'll always be my little sister. And you'll always be my big brother. <sighs> and I'll always be a bird. Sorry, I thought we were all saying what we are. I'll try to be less overprotective. <laughs> That's all I ever wanted. <laughs> Today. Sorry, I don't want to disturb your touching reconciliation, but what are we doing with Alfie? The panic will spread. We'll be accused of black magic. That's right. And you said he was nice. However, he's disgusting and sticky. You're right. Let's go party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's not fair. Look what you did. You ruined show and tell. Turn those bushes back. I'm sorry, but I don't know how. Huh? Mm -hmm. Alakazam, Alakazop. Magic, make those bushes stop! It was awesome. The bushes were like poof, and the kids were like ah, but I saved the day. Watch. Alakazam, Alakazi! Magic, help me move that tree! Huh? Wow, Alfie, you're quite the magician. You just need to practice. I can't believe I woke up for this. Huh? The tree's alive! It really is magic! That's it! Here we are! <laughs> you see? I told you it was useful to dig holes! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Cat can resist it. You should probably get the hang of it then, huh? That, my friend, is called a cat treat. <laughs> Sam, less weird bear, more cat. <laughs> Better, now stretch! Good! Stay in the moment. Think feline. Meow! Hey, you two! Bug off! Tatnum is for real cats! 
I'm a real cat. Don't! The point is, I should be able to have one thing in this house that's mine. Is that too much to ask? Hi, you guys. Uh, hi, guys. Hi, what? <laughs> it's our <laughs> birthday. Again? We're having a party Tuesday night. Our lady goes to bingo on Tuesday. We'd love to come. Uh, sorry, only Vic made the guest list. Congratulations, Vic! We don't even like each other. True, but we need more indoor pets with proper training for this party. It's going to be 50% fancier this year. And we're having cheat cake. Party entertaining. Okay, I'll come to your fet or whatever, but they come too. We're a package deal. Huh? <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> oh, Sam, we're about to taste frosting. I hope it's purple. Um, no way are you coming near our cake. Oh, okay, bye. Yeah. Come on, you guys. Away. Let them come. More presents, Fluff. Fine. But you'll all be kicked out before kick. And if you make a mess, act like dorks, or bring an unawesome present. <gasps> no sweat, kitten mittens. I'm going to prep them myself. Get set to be charmed. Yay! <laughs> You've been attending these fancy pet parties for years. You're really going to share your inside tips with us? Goop hug! <laughs> Thank you, Vic! We're gonna have shit cake! Do we get presents, too? What about ice cream? Saddle! <gasps> you have much to learn before sheet cake. <laughs> Ready? And lift! <laughs> yeah. Well done, Eugenie. Okay, good. Eugenie, Suze, how about you two go find the perfect present for Nugs and Fluff? We'd love to! Yes, please! <laughs> Master, come on! <laughs> Winner gets extra birthday cake! Yeah. <laughs> Victoria! You okay? You know what? None of those gifts were snazzy enough for Nugget and Fluffy. I know, but where are we going to find Pierre Class? <sighs> Can you afford it? Um, how about one tiny second? <laughs> Here, six cans of tuna. In oil. Change it.
do you think, Sam? Yes, I mean it. It's almost dead. Ta -da! Okay, so you want to play. You two are now the perfect guests. Yay! Yay! Yes! Yay! Yes! I'm leaving for bingo. Don't fight. <laughs> I'll be home soon. It's party time. Even more boring than last year. And that already was quite a challenge. I hope they love it. Well, it sounds perfect. Uh. <laughs> for you, neighbors. Oh, we'll take that. Get back. Box, which smells like uh, sidewalk. No, it's a throne, a beautiful throne. Sure, it could use a paint job. Take it away. Get it out of here. <laughs> we hate our present. <laughs> what about the cake? The girls, quick, go find a new present. What? <laughs> Got this. You just enjoy. This is your day. Are we not, gentlemen? Ah! Are you guys nuts? Our lady will be home soon. But it's your birthday. It's customary. Fix it. Uh -huh. ah! Ah! Please, we just want to. Troublemakers, three crazed cats. Come on, let's get them. Where are they? <laughs> Did they go get coffee? Oh, who cares? Run! Ah! Sam, let's go! No! <laughs> <laughs> It was just a little joke to spice up your boring party. <gasps> you owe us a present. Well, good night, you two. Good night. These carriers are breaking my arms. You two are going on a diet. Sorry about the fuss. Fighting with the neighbors, ending up in the pound. What has gotten into you, Vic? Oh, come on, dear. Let's go to bed. My party days are officially over. Good night, Sam. Good night, Vic. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? 
not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Listen, ladies, if you're not staying hydrated and getting a solid 20 hours of sleep a day, you're going to show your age. Yes, Susie? Are we old? Oh, yes, good question. No, not yet, but you will one day. You want to put that off as long as possible. Why? Because, my dear naive Susie, nobody wants an old pet. Nobody. <laughs> good morning, ladies. Ah! Oh! Sam, help me out here. <laughs> ah, thanks, buddy. Sure. Oh, I had the most amazing dream. I was rolling around in a mud pit the size of a pond. It was amazing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> tell us more. Ah! Ah, what is that? Are you dying? Is this part of your face? Oh, relax. It's just a little avocado rinse to keep our coats youthful and shiny. Oh. Tasty. Oh, I don't need that stuff. I get all my energy from a good night of howling at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you need it more than any one of us, Wash. You're like what? A billion years old? Wait, what? What, what? Look, all I know is you're super duper old. <laughs> what do you mean, super duper old? Let's look at the numbers. Tell me, how old are you? I'm, I think maybe... Well, I have no idea. We don't really do birthdays in the woods. It doesn't matter anyway, because whatever age you think you are, you're actually seven times that age. I'm guessing you're somewhere around 35, or maybe even 40, so very old. <laughs> that most certainly does not sound about right. I'm as spry as they come. If you use the word spry, then you're definitely getting up there. But just to double check. Mm -hmm. What? What is it? What do you see? Not much, just... Ah! A gray hair. That means you're almost dead. A gray hair? But that's just like... This old silver fox I used to feed. <laughs> Thanks, Sonny. Whatever. I still got it. Sure you do, Wash. Just like that old silver fox had it. Wait, so you're saying that when you get old, you lay around and people bring you food? Sign me up! Well, yes, but that wasn't my point. Oldness is really nothing to get excited about. Treat time, my furry friends! Come and get it! <laughs> we splurged and got gingery ginger snaps for hours! <laughs> gingery ginger snaps? Ow! Gosh, are you okay? For the 10 billionth time, I'm fine. Stop treating me like your grandpa. Come here, lean on me. No, everyone leave me alone. <laughs> oh no, Wash, let me help you up. How about one more treat, old boy? Life is short, right? Want me to chew it for you first? I'm not old, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> for a walk was a 20-mile journey uphill both ways. Come on, Alfie, let's go inside. I want to play house. I told you, I'm not playing house until we have someone to play the grandpa. When I was a kid, our idea of playing house was eating rocks. If we wanted a grandpa, we... Hey, wait! <laughs> we can get Washington to play the part. Actually, he can play our great-great-grandpa who is back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't 
look. It's just a sea of gray in here. What? Is everything all right? Huh? Speak up. We're worried about you. I know you all once thought of me as your spirited leader, but it's becoming clear that my aging body is letting you down. Maybe I'm no longer fit to be in this role. Maybe it's time for me to accept my elderly status and all that comes with it. But Wash, you're not elderly. When I was a cub, there was an old silver fox who lived in our den. I used to have to chew- You've told us this story. Really? About a hundred times. Well, that proves it. It's time for me to retire and go back to the woods. But we can't stay here without you, Wash. Yeah, you're our leader. You'll freeze out there. This is what old animals do. We return to nature. <sighs> I'd like to thank you all for coming to the Stop Washington from Leaving meeting. First on the agenda, how do we stop Washington from leaving? Oh, that's what's happening? I'm out of here. Wash can figure this out on his own. He's a big boy. I mean... An old boy. Well, we're off to a great start. But let's stay focused. How do we get Wash to stay? Let's tie him up! He's so stubborn, we need to go and hide and pin him down! Yeah, uh, okay. Any other suggestions? Oh, no? oh, I got it! Lock him in a closet forever? This is going to be harder than I thought. What if we set up an easy, really, really easy obstacle course for him? Then he wins it, and he thinks he's still a young pup, and he doesn't leave, and we all live happily ever after. That's actually a really good idea. Thanks. Oh, we could use spoons for hurdles. <laughs> no, we need the tinier ones. Get those decorative teaspoons. You kids, you got a new play set now that the old man's on his way out. Life's for the living. No, Wash, this is for you. Huh? If you can make it to the end of this agility course, that means you're in the prime of your life. And you won't have to go back to the woods. Huh? Hmm, of course. If I don't make it to the end, I'll have no choice but to return to nature. Of course. Only respectable thing. And go! want to go to the woods, having someone chew your food for you is no life at all. Start the stopwatch. They weren't even real rocks. Good try, everyone. Victoria, lead my friends well. Oops. I'm a little competitive. Wash, I'm so sorry. You're not an old man. And those balloons, I mean, rocks, I mean, I have really sharp claws. I could pop a rock. It's okay, Victoria. You don't have to pretend. I'm an old guy. It's time for me to say goodbye. <gasps> don't follow me. Let me go with dignity. <laughs> I guess this is as good as it's gonna be from now on. Surprise! Surprise! Happy birthday, Wash! For whoever 
emerald you are. You guys came all the way out here to give this to me? You didn't really make it that far. Well, I was a bit tired, you know. Uh, but tell me, how did you know it was my birthday? We don't celebrate those back in the woods. We didn't have a clue. We just decided to celebrate the first day of your new life. You maybe want to blow out your candles? Candles, right? That's what you do when you celebrate a birthday. You okay, Wash? He's more than okay. Your gray hair is gone. You look like a brand new cub again. Well, you look at that. I guess my days aren't numbered after all. Does that mean you'll come back home with us? Only if I can get more of those gingery ginger snaps. Yay! Yay! You don't need that thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, watch it! Oh. Oops, sorry. It's okay, Grandma. I'll give you a hand. Grandma? I'm not a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Joker's Tunnel, a surprise obstacle awaits on the other side. How exciting! Oh, no. And the winner of the race will receive a... Year's Supply of Pet Food! A Year's Supply? You? <laughs> Please, they can't be serious. You know, I didn't really want a race. Until now! Well, I think it's time for me to fade out. That kind of partying stuff, that's really not my cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Vicky! Oh, no! <laughs> Alfie! <laughs> <laughs> I see you, wild ones. You're coming back with me into the forest where you belong. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
So, what are you up to? Doesn't seem right. <laughs> huh? Where did the race track go? Yeah! Are you nuts? Yeah! Huh? Where are you going? Oh, 
Mitch? I got you! Sam, you okay? Mm -hmm. I know you're still here, and I can smell each and every one of you. Where's the rest of the gang? You're all staying here in the wild, like real animals, where you belong. But we're too fancy for life in the wild. Huh? Ah! Hey! Huh? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Good plan! It's confusing Mitch! Keep it up! It's working! <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here before he wakes up. Huh? Wait, where's Gracie and Alfie? Mm -hmm. And Vic! Who cares? You supply a pet food, remember? Ta-ta! Wow, what a jerk! <laughs> Wait for me, I'll go and check! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We gotta do something! Absolutely! You're gonna help them! <laughs> you sure? Phew! That was too close! Thanks, Vic! I never doubted you for a second! Not even for a second? Not for a single second! Vicky! Kitty! Vicky Kitty! <laughs> <laughs> For me! That's ridiculous. We didn't come from over there. We came from over there. Everybody knows that cats have an excellent sense of direction. Please, you're an alley cat. As if you know which way to go. You can't even decide how to run for your life. <laughs> Guys, don't fight. I can smell civilization in that direction. No way. It came from back that way. Nuh-uh, it was that way. Everybody shush it! You shush it! We gotta dig our way out, I'm telling you! We need to start digging our way out of here! You heard me, dig! I say we just run, anyway, as long as we're not here! I knew you'd come back. How about we ditch these dweebs and run off to Paris? Uh -oh. Everybody stick together and follow me! Why 
Washington, I'm coming for you. Oh, I wish we could fly. Oh, I can fly.
Sausage is definitely the worst to ever walk the earth. You did it, boy! We won! Uh, not exactly. The rules clearly state the first animal to cross the finish line wins. This year's supply of pet food goes to the goldfish. You did it, little fishy! You did it! We won! <laughs> well, we all know who the real winner is. Us! Guys are the best. Yeah. Woof, 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 woof. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Anybody smell something stinky? All I can smell is the heat. Hmm, you mean like a rotten cauliflower? Yeah, just like that. I smell it now, but I think it's a pile of dirty wet socks. Mm -hmm. You're both wrong. It's Sam. Come on, Vic. That's a low blow. Of course it's not. <laughs> mm. 
sap. Hey, Washington. Trying to drink this milk, but it's kind of chunky. It's your smell, Sam. It's curdled the milk. Oh, well, it is a hot day. And bats are very boring. Sam, when was the last time you had one? Uh, let's see. One, two... What month is it? What? No wonder you smell. Yeah, I smell great. Unique. <laughs> you don't smell great, you smell gross. Can't you smell your stink? No, that is the, uh, uh, skunk. I know you're not blaming me for that stench, yo, but you want some of my stink, just say so. Uh, we're fine. You're very scary, though. Impressive. Well, the skunk's gone, but the stink is not. Love me, love my smell. This is gonna be a long summer. Would you like a bacon sandwich, dear, or bacon between two pieces of bread? I think I'd prefer a piece of bacon with bread on each side. <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell, honey? It's certainly not bacon. It smells almost boarish. Like a wild boar, don't you think? Yes, it's just like wild boar. But how could that be? <gasps> Hear that? The elves are about to discover our secret, thanks to Sam's stink. They won't smell it if we secretly stick branches up their nostrils. True, but I think they might notice branches up their nostrils. Well, until we find the source, we just need... Air, air freshener. freshener! And we need some boar freshener. Good luck finding that at the store. If you'll excuse me, I need to go breathe. We may not be able to buy boar freshener, but we can make a super crazy smell to disguise Sam's stink. We'll start with bacon grease. Ha ha! Who can resist that? Add some musky aftershave. A little garlic. A dash of toothpaste. A slice of shag carpet. No! A roll of toilet paper. No! A trumpet. Fine. Oh, good. I love the smell of music. The moment of truth. That is beyond my wildest expectations. <laughs> yeah? Oh, so you like my smell now, huh? I knew you'd learn to love my natural aroma. Everyone does. Right. That's exactly it. I love your natural wild boar smell. Huh? What is that? It's, it's... It's my natural smell. Leave me alone if you don't like it. But, but I love it. I love you. Where could it have come from? <laughs> oh, Sam, it's not you, is it? He smells... He smells... So delightful! delightful. <laughs> Have a snack, you charming devil. And you can take our bed tonight. We'll sleep in the garden. Coast is clear. A bacon raid can commence. Hello, ladies. Move it, Scuttle Bunt. Before we... <laughs> Kiss you from head to toe! You look all tense. Let me massage these knots. You're so cool. Yes, I know. Oh, oh, no! Hurry up! We have to go to his place right now! Come on! <sighs> Sam's steak is sorted out and I can finally chillax. Sam is in the building, fans! Oh, oh, yeah! Eugenie! Susie! What's
What's wrong with you? They love me and my awesome smell. Oh, no! My super crazy boar freshener, it's too powerful! Here, girls, it's me. It's Scratch and Sniff. <laughs> I need to talk to you. And I need to talk to you, Washington. Listen, I decided to ditch the disguise. What? What are you saying? The elves will know you're a boar. Big deal. They love the boar smell, they'll love the boar. No! <laughs> Sam, what everyone loves isn't your smell. They love this. You're just jealous of my natural... Oh, that stuff does smell good. It's aftershave and bacon grease with a few secret spices. We mixed it up, didn't we, girls? But I thought it was me that everyone liked. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? That stuff's powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Come back to our place, Sam. You can stay forever. <laughs> it's time for our wedding dance, Dreamboat. <laughs> <laughs> Smelling so incredible is a lot of pressure. <laughs> Phew. That's better. A bit of peace and quiet. It's that fat cat that mm -hmm. smells so good. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Hey, get oh. over. Good kitty. No, no. The whole city loves me much too much. Washington, stop me from smelling so sweet. I'll do anything. Even a boring bath? <laughs> I'm ready. Bathe me. <laughs> that ought to do it. You sure? To dry clean. <laughs> that ought to do it. You sure? Oh! Ah! You're never gonna get this stuff off me. I'll be hunted forever. There must be a way. Okay, we got rid of your stick by overpowering it with something stronger. Hurry up, Washington! I can't feel my eyes! So we're going to need to overpower that with something even stronger! Super stronger! There's nothing stronger than this delicious aroma! There's one possible thing, but it won't be pretty! Who cares about pretty? Okay. I'll always love him. Love who? I don't remember. There she is. Does she see us? Just wait. Is that smell you? You like that? Uh-huh. That is sweet. <laughs> I like your smell, too. <laughs> Very funny. He's serious. You splash his back, we'll splash yours. Now you're just messing with me. No, no, we... Yeah, we are. You're a stinky, stinky skunk. Why, you lousy... Gross. <laughs> Thanks. You are one weird cat. Just in case you're not messing. So how do I smell? <laughs> Tell 
tomatoes, the best cure for skunk stink. Sorry, Sam. Sorry? I love a good tomato bath. So, from now on, you can call me Sam Millinera. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I've gotten really good at this. <laughs> Get Minnie! He's almost uh, here! You're asking for trouble. Stupid mail! Stupid sunshine! Come to Papa. <laughs> here! Arf, 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 arf. <laughs> 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 Very funny, dog. You got a real weird bark, you know that? Hey, dog! Here's something to make some noise about! It's a letter from the vet! Ha <laughs> ha! Wait! Did he say letter from the vet? Yep. It's a letter from the vet, all right. See? That's his necklace. And a letter from the vet is never good. Yeah. Maybe it's time for sure. Or maybe our ears are too long. Maybe he wants to cut them off. Yeah. Or maybe he just figured out who we are. Yeah. Huh? No. no. Oh. Cool. From my collection. What did you do that for? What if they were expecting that letter? They'll blame the mailman. The post office never makes a mistake. Everybody knows that. Oh no, it was us! I mean you! Huh? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Calm down, everybody, because I got it all worked out. See? This is a good thing. You heard me. A good thing. We replace the letter in Sam's stomach with a brand new one. A better one. A letter that will say whatever we want. Mm -hmm. We'll pretend it's from the vet, and we'll say that we are in perfect health and that he never needs to see us again. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm all for no more vet visits, but how are you going to write a letter? How are you going to write, period? Hmm. Vic, I think you're forgetting I'm a super slick fox. I mean, if I can manage this... I can figure out how to write. Yeah, how hard can writing be? Go for it. But so you know, it's got to be on the vet's special paper. The one that has his little necklace on it. Uh-oh, really? Yep, otherwise, they'll know it's a fake. No biggie, where do we get some? In his office. Uh -huh. <laughs> Great, point the way. It's at the corner, by the coffee shop. Got it. Sam, you're coming with me. Me? To the vet? I don't want to run into the vet. Like I do, but someone <laughs> ate the letter. I think you guys should all go. Safety in numbers, right? Well, I guess you're right. Let's go. <sighs> that little adventure should take all day. Now what? How do we get in? We came all the way and we can't even get into the building. Wait! I think I see a solution to our problem. Quick, act normal. <laughs> I said normal like animal pets. <laughs> Come on, 
Come on, Morty. It'll be fine. You don't need all those teeth anymore. That duck doesn't need all his teeth. What kind of place is this? We each have to pick one human to walk inside with. And don't forget what you have to do once you're there. Let's replace those disgusting old teeth of yours. Look at my dog, John. All new teeth. No pain. He looks like a puppy again. You're a big kitty. Look at that big nose of yours. <laughs> and your teeth, they stick out. Weird. Where on earth am I going to find this? Look, big kitty. This is my hamster, Oscar. Oscar, say hi to big kitty. Hello. Oh, Oscar, he always faints. <laughs> Meow! Meow! Here we have our top model. These would make old Moldy look like a movie star. Now think about it. I'll grab the forms for you to sign. <laughs> Come on, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna make you look good and young again. Hi there, nice little rabbit. What's going on? What's all the noise back there? Why is he barking? Oh, Oscar. Vet papers and vet envelopes must be worth a fortune, so he would hide them. I must think like a vet. Where would I, a vet, hide them? That bone wasn't enough. I need some pills to calm him. They're in your office, Doctor. Oh, yes, of course. I almost forgot. Hey, Big Kitty's gonna be sick. <laughs> What's going on here? For a cat. This cat needs to have these two teeth out as soon as possible. They're probably infected. Oh, that fur, it's so wet and sticky. Whose pet is this? Who brought a sick animal in here? <sighs> of course, in my vet desk. Aha! Hmm? Ah, bingo! Nurse, <laughs> <laughs> help! That weird cat needs to be sedated right now! Uh, uh, we gotta save Sam! <laughs> Yuck! He's sicker than I thought! But stop moving like that! <laughs> Was that? Baldy! <laughs> and once again! My office! My shelter from the patients! <laughs> Hello, the Livingstones. All your wonderful pets are in perfect health. And I, their vet, do not need to see them 
ever again. Yay, Washington! Thank you, thank you. What can I say? I'm a natural. Can we add and give them plenty of snacks? Easy. And give them plenty of snacks. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Sign. The Vet. Yay, Yay Washington! these red envelopes. What's the letter about, honey? I... Uh... <laughs> I'm not really sure. See for yourself. What on earth? This handwriting is terrible, even for a doctor. <laughs> okay, so I need to practice. I'm gonna call the vet to see what's going on. Whoa, look! Yeah. Cheap drink, Mush! And of course, we appreciate you taking the time to write, Doctor, but perhaps you could tell me what you wrote? Oh, yes, the letter. I read into the mailman last week. He told me that Washington has a rather strange bark. Oh, dear! Maybe we should bring him in. Why don't you? I'm offering 50% off all my doses all by the uh, Oh! <laughs> Finally a perfect morning! 